Happy Monday, Quentin UCC, and welcome to our Monday meditation. I'm Rev. Jessica Hanley, the pastor at Quentin, and this morning we'll be focusing on the apocryphal book of Sirach, chapter 8, verses 1 to 19. After I finish the reading, I'll do a brief reflection and we'll close in prayer. Let us prepare our hearts and minds for this reading from the book of Sirach. It is ent entitled Caution in Social Relations, and Stella's decided to join us for this reading this morning. Don't fight with powerful people, or you might fall into their hands. Don't argue with rich people, since they might outmatch your resources. For gold has destroyed many, and it has turned aside the hearts of kings. Don't fight with the talkative people, adding fuel to their fire. Don't make fun of the uneducated or your ancestors might be insulted, turning away from sin. Remember that we are all worthy of punishment. Don't reproach someone. Don't dishonor people in their old age. Some of us are growing old as well. Don't celebrate because someone has died. Remember that we will all pass away. Don't neglect the conversation of the wise, but keep returning to their proverbs because you will learn instruction from them how to minister to dignitaries. Don't reject the words of the aged because they also learn from their elders and you will learn understanding from them and how to give an answer when it is necessary. And don't let his fire set you ablaze. Don't stoke up the coals of the sinner. Don't rise out of your seat in the presence of insolent persons because they might set a trap for what you say. Don't lend to people who are more powerful than you. But if you do lend, treat it as though it were lost. Don't guarantee a loan beyond your ability, and if you do guarantee one, consider that you will need to pay. Don't go to court with a judge. People will judge him according to his prestige. Don't walk on the road with reckless people or you will bear the weight of your mistakes. They will walk wherever they want and you will be destroyed because of their foolishness. Don't get in a fight with hot-tempered people and don't travel through the desert with them because spilling blood is nothing to them and when there's no one to help, they will strike you down. Don't consult with fools because they can't keep a secret. Don't do anything in front of strangers that should be kept hidden for you don't know what they will reveal. Don't open your hearts to just anyone and don't accept a favor from ju just anyone. Here ends our reading today from the apocryphal book of Sirach, chapter 8, verses 1 to 19. It's a cautionary lecturing if we've ever heard one. All the things people should do not, should not do, followed each time by rationale behind these rules. Don't fight with powerful people. Don't quarrel with the rich. Don't do this. Don't do that. What can we do? As we live through this pandemic, I think a lot of us, myself included, are focusing on all of the things we can't do. The CDC has set forth guidelines of what not to do to stay safe. Don't go out more than you need to. Don't touch your face. Don't gather in large crowds. But I found it helpful as I feel inundated by all of these don'ts or can'ts during this time to reframe and reword so I understand what I still can do what we still can do. Instead of saying things like, I can't go to church on Sundays, I've learned to say, I can gather with my community in new ways. In place of saying, I can't go out to eat, I've started to say, I can try new recipes at home and save money. When we rewire our brains to understand what we still can do and why we can still do these things, our moods are lifted and our social relations seem to improve. When we learn to say, I can, we are re-energized and affirmed that we are still capable, capable of being God's people in this world, being one another's neighbors, being brothers and sisters in Christ from miles apart. It's amazing what reframing a few words can do to our entire attitude. Let us pray. God of impossible things, help each of us see all that is still possible, all of the ways we can still be together, all of the ways we can still be your community, 
your people in this world. Amen. And just a reminder, if you would like to help out with some activities we are doing as outreach for our church, the Bensines will be at the church on Mondays and Wednesdays, gathering from 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock for the Joy Food Pantry. And also Beth has um, blanket kits, you just have to know how to knot knots, uh, to donate to our local shelters for people who may be in need of blankets during this time. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, leave in the comments or email me. Be sure to join us tomorrow for our Tuesday talk. We'll be back also on Wednesday with a Wednesday workout. And I'll also try to get a Thursday thought in this week. And we'll be gathering again Sunday morning at 1015 online. You will receive an email if you're on our email mailing list. And the link for our video is also posted on our website if you don't receive the weekly emails. I hope you all have a great Monday and are staying well and healthy. Bye.